Hello everyone, my name is Pylon. Last weekend I tried to complete a little challenge on my Twitch stream where I will try to boost RFC for 10 hours straight. Even though I only managed the challenge for almost 7 hours, I got some insights into how much gold you can earn when you boost RFC as a mage in Season of Discovery. So in this video I'd like to share the insight I gather and try to answer the question how much gold can you actually earn from boosting RFC? It is though very important that you understand where the numbers come from and how my challenge was structured. The challenge was to boost RFC for 10 hours straight. That means that I did not go out of my way to find people that wanted to pay for boost. The way I found people to boost was yelling out the macro when I resetted and sold all the loot. I will however go into some examples of how much you potentially could earn if you fill the group to the max with buyers later in the video. Let's go over the data. Under the 6 hours and 37 minutes I did a total of 28 resets of RVC. The average run time was 11 minutes and 14 seconds with an average mob count of 122. Under the 28 runs I did die 4 times, sometimes by leaving flame resisted and sometimes I made a mistake. I used 1 fab each run which resulted in a total of 28 fabs in total and I paid 35 silver for each. I sold 19 boost slots in total of 70 silver each. The 90 boost slots resulted in a total of 13 gold and 30 silver. The raw silver that dropped did bring in almost 5 gold. The biggest income was the loot I sold to a vendor which was almost 35 gold. Note, I sold everything to the vendor except a few bags that I kept for my ults I boosted. As mentioned earlier, I did use 28 free action potion that cost me around 10 gold. In total I got 43 gold and 31 silver in profit in the challenge. That is roughly 6 gold and 55 silver per hour. As you will probably agree, this can be done so much better if you try to maximize the amount of gold you can earn per hour. So let's play a little with the variables that we can work with, which is the number of people you choose to boost each round. Here on the left we have the same picture as we had before, that is the data from the challenge itself. What would be the outcome if you choose to run each reset by yourself and no other part member? For obvious reason you will get zero gold in boost as we are alone in the party. What changes however is raw silver, which increases from 497 to 1238 gold. But even with the large increase in raw silver, gold power lands around 5 gold and 66 silver per hour. As you can see, the option of filling the group with players who buy boost is the best option by far. You can get up to 16 gold per hour by filling the group with 4 players who pay you to boost them. The problem with that, however, is that it takes more time to fill such a group. But we can at least state that the more boosts you sell, the more gold you will earn. Which may not be a surprise, but I learned that the difference is big enough it's worth waiting a few minutes to find a player who wants to buy a boost. Okay, this was a quick summary of what I learned from my challenge. If you would like to see the entire challenge, it's linked in the description of the video. I will upload similar content here on this YouTube channel. So if you are interested in seeing it, you can subscribe so you will get it in your feed. And if you like this type of content, you are more than happy to leave a thumbs up so I can see that it's appreciated and see what type of content I should focus on in the future. Take care in the meanwhile, see you in the next video.